This is the VOA Special English Health Report. The United Nations estimates that the world reached 7 billion people on October 31st. But no one can be sure. The United States Census Bureau does not expect the 7 billionth baby until March. Populations are growing faster than economies in many poor countries in Africa and some in Asia. At the same time, low fertility rates in Japan and many European nations have raised concerns about labor shortages. Population experts at the United Nations estimated that the world reached 6 billion in October 1999. They predict 9 billion by 2050 and 10 billion by the end of the century. China's population of one and a third billion is currently the world's largest. India is second at 1.2 billion. But India is expected to pass China and reach one and a half billion people around 2025. India will also have one of the world's youngest populations. Economists say this is a chance for a so-called demographic dividend. India could gain from the skills of young people in a growing economy at a time when other countries have aging populations. But economists say current rates of economic growth, although high, may not create enough jobs. Also, the public education system is failing to meet demand and schooling is often of poor quality. Another concern is health care. Nearly half of India's children under the age of five are malnourished. Sarah Crow at the United Nations Children's Fund in New Delhi says these two problems could keep India back. The malnourishment means many children are unable to grow to their ability in school and later to earn money and pay into the economy. One of every 200 million children who start school, she says, only 10 percent complete grade 12. Mikhail Rakowski is the Director of Human Development in South Asia at the World Bank. He says the seven billionth person was likely to be a girl born in rural Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh is one of India's poorest and most crowded states with nearly 200 million people. He says reaching seven billion people in the world is a good time for a call to action. He says Public policy needs to become really, really serious about gender equality and about access to services. For VOA Special English, I'm Carolyn Prasuti. Check out VOAspecialenglish.com, VOA's daily source of news and information for people learning English. You can also find lessons on the VOA Learning English page on Facebook.